Hang in there, Mitch. I was born with spina bifida, which is a birth defect that affects the, the spine. He's had quite a few surgeries. You know, we would do things in the hopes that it would improve his quality of life. So when he started into the scouting program, we were wondering how and at what level he was going to be able to participate. I really wanted to participate in, in the hikes and the camping, and I knew it was going to be very hard because it can be hard to walk. Looking good. We wanted to find the best way we could to bring him along with us, and whether that was, was carrying him or, or you know, any other way, we, we just wanted to make sure Mitch was with us. I definitely gave it my all on these high adventures, but I do have my limitations. I know Mitch has the heart and he would have done it no matter what, but we wanted to come up with a way of carrying him. Awesome! We came up with a design that was a, a metal frame that had two harnesses, one on the front, one on the back, and then it was a, a camping chair that we designed to fit in the middle. We went over to the Fenimore's house and we actually spoke with Mitch's mom about it. And I just remember the, the joy that came over her knowing that we were able to include her son. Smile, Mitch. We were just amazed that they would take that initiative and help him to that extent. Those boys will always have a special place in my heart. I had a lot of mixed feelings about this at first and I didn't want to be carried all the time. He didn't want to put the burden on others but he allowed us to serve him. I think he wishes that he could have been the one to carry somebody else in the Mitchmobile, but he learned very, a very valuable lesson as to what it means to allow other people to serve us. And if we don't allow that to happen to us, then how can others experience that wonderful blessing and opportunity? Let's go, guys. We started out as, out as boys. And through this project and through the love that, that we shared with one another, we, we became men out of it. It truly did bring us together and I'm grateful for their willingness to bring me and to serve me constantly. You know, this, this experience has been honestly one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life. And these are some of the campouts that I'll remember the most. Our duty to God is a, is a change of heart. It's a life, lifelong experience. It's becoming more like our savior. I would just like to thank all of the young men and leaders for all that they've done for me. I want to thank them for, for helping me become who I am today and for helping me through hard times. I don't know if they realize how much that has meant to me. It's what Christ would have done. Christ, I mean, he, was, he was always there to pick us up and, and carry us when needed. And that's kind of what we wanted to do for Mitch. We wanted to be there and, and carry him when he needed it. To know the love that those boys have for Mitch, to continue to include him and, and keep him involved was one of the most Christ-like, Christ-like things I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm.